Hey everyone, how's it going? I am here with another uh, video on knots and specifically the difference in type of knot. <clears throat> I have here a Wolf's Whiskers and a Nathan Clark Darth Vader brush. Two very different handles, however they have knots that are made out of the same hair. They are both the Nathan Clark NV White, and uh, this is a 24 millimeter. This is a 26 millimeter, and so um, uh, this is a bulb, and this is a fan. Both are set to 50 millimeters, and I just wanted to take a little bit of time and explain the difference in these knots. Now, first of all, if you were to take this knot and squeeze it together, you still wouldn't have a bulb shape. Okay, um, it would be almost there. Okay, but uh, but the difference is the way the uh, the way the hairs are cut, <clears throat> and um, and you can see this one has a more domed appearance, while this one has a more fan-like appearance. Now, when you when you look at the actual bloom of the knot, you can actually see a huge difference. Okay. This one is much, much larger than this one. Now, some of that is because this is also a two millimeter larger knot, which means that down here, um, where the knot comes together on both of these, um, at the point of constriction, this is 24 millimeters, this is 26 millimeters. That means that there's two more millimeters in this knot, so you'll be able to pack more hair into this knot, but you're also going to get a larger knot, which is why your chubbies and things like that, um, your chubbies uh, have uh, bigger knots, it's because, uh, or a bigger size of a, um, of a bloom, that's because they have larger uh, diameter knots in them, which is down here. So, but even if you were to squeeze, <coughs> you can see, as far as density goes, if you look at these two, they are almost the same density, which means the same amount of hairs per square inch, square millimeter, square centimeter, however you want to measure it. If you were to compress this down to the same size as this bulb knot, you would see there's many, many, many more hairs in the same area. That's because there's more hairs in the knot, because it's larger. So, <clears throat> what does all of that mean? Well, it means this. A bulb knot will, by default, have more backbone than the same size and hair type of a fan knot. Okay? Because a fan knot is cut to splay the hair out like this, and a bulb is cut to maximize just the, um, the number of bristles touching your face at any, any given moment. Okay? However, depending on how these are set in the brush will make a difference. So, for example, it is entirely possible that if this knot here, this bulb knot, which by nature should have more backbone than the fan knot, if it were raised up, and let's say it were brought to a 55 millimeter loft, five millimeters, which is half a centimeter, let's say that it were brought a little bit higher, you would actually notice there is a lot less backbone in this brush than there is currently set at 50 millimeters. Likewise, if you were to take this <clears throat> 50 millimeter brush, and then let's say you were to set it even at 48, which is two millimeters deeper, what happens is you would be packing those bristles in tighter. So even though it's a fan-shaped knot, you would be packing them in tighter, which would result in more uh, backbone. So you would just pack them in a little bit tighter, and you can see the density increases. So it's not just the shape of the knot, but it's also the density of the hair, okay, which makes a difference. So if you were to, let's say you were to drop this in to about 40 millimeters. I don't even know that you could do that, but let's say you did, okay, you drop this one whole centimeter from 50 to 40, and you got these hairs packed in, they would appear like that, and this knot would look like this, okay? 
that is an incredibly, incredibly dense brush. You can actually see how much more dense it is. Okay, um, and that's going to give you a lot more backbone. So, when you're picking a knot, I, by nature, prefer bulb knots, um, just because, by nature, they are, um, they have more backbone. But it depends a lot on where the knot is set in the brush, and it also depends on the density of the knot. Different manufacturers have different densities. So, um, now I like this brush, even though it's a fan knot. There is plenty of backbone, and part of that comes from the fact this is a 26 millimeter knot. <clears throat> a 26 millimeter knot has a lot of hair in it, and so I'm able to get much more backbone as I'm lathering with it. And, um, and you can even see, because it's a white badger, um, it has, it, it's got thicker hair. Uh, I said in my other video, one of the differences uh, between the two bands and a silver tip is the thickness of the hair. And so these hairs, these bristles are, are very, very thick compared to like your silver tip, um, which has very, very thin hair. That being said, um, the quality of hair will affect the backbone. So if you have a Manchurian, if you have um, a white, if you have a two band, you're going to get a thicker, denser hair than your silver tips, um, which means that by nature, these will have more backbone than your silver tips because they have thinner hair. Um, one of the thing that uh, someone commented on uh, the video was um, they were asking, Wyatt, stop it. Go, you can sit in time out. You know you're not supposed to bite. Leave the door open, Tristan. One of the comments on the last video One of the comments on the last video had to do with processing, and, um, and <clears throat> the uh, the commenter said uh, said that all of the silver tips and the two bands are all processed and they're all bleached. And I think that he wondered why I pointed out the Manchurian as uh, as not really real, but just over processed and bleached. And that's because. Um, Yes, all of these are processed and all of these are bleached whenever you get into the, the finer quality of hair, but um, one of the big differences in, say, a silver tip versus a two band is the location that the hair comes from on the badger. And, um, and so there is a difference there uh, between silver tip and two band. And I believe that the silver tip comes from the belly and the the two band comes from the back. Um, but I, I didn't actually look that up. I believe that that's just what my brain is telling me. Um, but anyhow, the Manchurian knot, or the Manchurian hair, doesn't come from a different part of the badger. It doesn't come from a Manchurian badger. It actually um, comes from the same area that the two band comes from, but it is over-processed or over-bleached to make the tips especially white and especially soft. Um, and, uh, and that brings me to my next point. Many, many, many brush makers and manufacturers um, source their knots from the same places and then they call them by different names. That is nothing against the brush makers. Um, that's just the fact of the matter. All badger hair Okay, go. Go in there and close the door. Go in there and close the door. One of the comments that was made on my previous video on brushes was that all of the silver tips and all of the two bands are processed and bleached and the commenter 
wondered why I singled out Manchurian. So um, just very briefly to talk about that. Yes, all of the higher end knots, all of the higher end hairs are processed and bleached, um, but, uh, but they come from different areas. So the silver tip, I believe, comes from the belly and the tubing comes from the back. I didn't look that up before the video, that's just going off of memory. Um, and so the silver tip actually has a finer hair and the two band has a thicker hair. It doesn't mean coarse, okay, because it's not coarse, but it's thicker uh, than the silver tip. <clears throat> the Manchurian hair does not come from any other part of the animal. It comes from the same area that the two band comes from, but uh, companies like Simpson have decided to over-process or over-bleach the tips um, to make them whiter and softer. And uh, so the Manchurian badger is not a type of badger. It is not a, a special area of hair on the badger. It is just a higher level of processing or bleaching. Some people like that. I certainly don't mind it. I think that they're, they're nice brushes. Um, some people, however, do find it to, to not be as pleasant as a less processed knot, um, like your, your silver tip or your tube band. Now that brings me to my next point. Um, all brush makers, and that doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're an artisan brush maker or you're a big name like, um, you know, Simpson, if you're Volfix, you know, it doesn't matter who you are. All brush makers, um, as far as I know, get all of their hair from China. Now, some of them actually get their knots from Chinese manufacturers, okay? Some of them hand tie their knots. Simpson prides themselves on hand tying their knots. Um, I don't know how true that is. I can't back that claim up. Um, I don't know of any artisans that hand tie their knots, although I'm sure that there's some out there. However, um, all badger hair that I know of comes from a few sources in China. So many people will actually source you the same exact knot, but they'll call it a different name. So for example, Nathan Clark has these NV whites, okay? And uh, someone, and I don't know, I don't know where Nathan Clark gets them from, so I'm, I'm not here to, to comment on that, but someone may use the same supplier, okay, and call it something else like a high mountain white or a, uh, or a luxury white or, or, or something like that, okay. Um, there are even differences in the other grades of badger between super and best and finest and things like that. Um, but all badger hair comes from China. So um, don't don't be misled and think that some of these are American badgers or anything like that. Um, now, some of the cheaper manufacturers, their badgers will stink and they will shed, and so you have to be wary of that. I would be wary of any brush that you're buying on the internet, like from eBay or something, uh, that is actually made in China. Um, I'm sure that there are Chinese companies that make fine brushes, um, but uh, but usually for the cost involved, because they will market it to they'll market it to Americans and they'll say this is a silver tip, and then they'll try to sell it to you for eighty dollars. And the fact of the matter is, you can get an eighty dollar brush from an American maker um, that's actually going to be much better than from that Chinese maker. They might make the knot, um, but when you see a whole brush coming from China, I usually avoid those. I like brushes that are made in Europe, I like brushes that are made in England, I like brushes that are made here in America. Um, that being said, I do not trust Chinese-made brushes. Um, I just think that what you get is not worth what you pay. So, that being said, I hope that you guys uh, liked uh, this video. Please don't forget to like it, please don't forget to subscribe. And um, if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. I will respond to them. And I hope that you guys have a great day. Don't forget that badgers are great brushes, uh, but your mileage may vary. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Shave on.